Hello, Grade 6. Today we are working on Nelson Math, Chapter 13, Section 5, Tree Diagrams. What you see here in front of you is a series of four different tree diagrams. So here we have the um, what looks like a tree. That's why it's called a tree diagram. It doesn't have to look like a tree at all. It's, a, it's an image. So I'm going to show you how, how these work and why they're useful. Imagine for a moment that you wanted to see how many days your meal would have to uh, take to repeat. You have four burgers and five sides as a choice. So your four burgers are a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a veggie burger, and a bacon burger. Your sides are fries, poutine, a garden salad, a Caesar salad, and mashed potatoes. If you could mix and match one hamburger and one side, how many days would it be until you had to repeat the exact same meal? So I'm going to show that on this tree diagram here. In this part of the tree diagram, we're going to have our different burgers. I'm going to use a, a, a capital and the first letter to show the sandwich and a lowercase first letter for the sides. So here I would put an H and I'm going to represent this uh, tree branch would be the uh, hamburger and its sides. So this is H for hamburger, and there are five different sides. One is fries, one is poutine, one is a garden salad, one is a Caesar salad, and one is mashed potatoes. So I just labeled my first branch of the tree, the capital H stands for hamburger, the F for fries, the P for poutine, the G for garden salad, the C for Caesar salad, and the M for mashed potatoes. In these boxes here, I'm going to show what the results are when you put them both together. So this box here would be capital H, lowercase f, and this HF means hamburger, and fries. So this HP would mean hamburger and poutine. The HG is hamburger and garden salad. The HC is hamburger and Caesar salad. And the HM is hamburger and mashed potatoes. So we have now five different outcomes that can take place. There are five different things that can happen where I have a hamburger, hamburger and fries, all the way down to hamburger and mashed potatoes. There are five of them there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the cheeseburger. So the cheeseburger, I'm starting off with the C in the sandwich indicating cheeseburger. I'm going to fill in uh, the rest of this uh, very quickly. You can see now I filled in all of the rest of the tree diagram, and this is what it means. This capital C means cheeseburger, and here we have fries, poutine, garden salad, Caesar salad, and mashed potatoes. The capital V is veggie burger, and then veggie burger, once again, we have the fries, poutine, garden salad, Caesar salad, and mashed potatoes. The B stands for bacon burger. And here we have, once again, fries, poutine, garden salad, Caesar salad, and mashed potatoes. So I'm going to now fill in the rest of these boxes because these boxes show us what the actual food is. I've gone ahead and filled in the rest of the blank boxes indicating what the meal is. This part uh, shows exactly what you're going to be eating. So, for example, this uppercase right here, the uppercase V lowercase c indicates a veggie burger with a Caesar salad. So that's what all of these mean. Now we can count them. So there are five here, five here, five here, and five here. That means there are 20 possible outcomes. That means that we can go 20 days of meals and not have the same lunch twice. Or, and it would be the 21st day when we have to have one of these again. And that's tree diagrams. Uh, these are 
not that difficult to draw if you take your time. You may use this as a model. You may also use the ones in your textbook. Thank you and have a great day.